Welcome to a really short Star Wars Old Republic video and today we're talking about the GTN and it's been quite some time since I've just kind of sat down and done a, a little relaxed GTN video but something cool really something really cool happened. Uh, when I was on my character selling all my Grand Chance Cubes and I've been going on all my characters and selling um, some of the miscellaneous items I have, uh, Grand Chance Cubes, Companion Gifts, those kinds of things. And as you guys can tell from the bottom right hand corner, I've racked up quite a uh, you know sum of credits. I'm actually trying to hit a billion. That was my, kind of my goal. I just wanted to be able to hit over a billion credits, screenshot it, maybe make a video on it. And uh, I also have a very big plan for all these credits and all the items I have actually stored up in my cargo bay. Uh, but more information on that later and it is going to involve a giveaway of over 1 billion credits. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it's going to be pretty awesome and I've got some big plans for this kinds of stuff. But um, that's a topic for after Kotet's release when I have um, kind of worked out the details. But for this video we're talking about these Grand Chance Cubes. And as you guys can see as I've been talking that mail counter has been going up just one after the other. And that's what this video is going to be called, the ultimate GTN selling machine, which are these Grand Chance Cubes. And I guess this video kind of reaffirms how awesome these Grand Chance Cubes can be at making credits. One of the reasons I absolutely love the Alliance packs that gave us a moderate amount of Grand Chance Cubes, like the Visionary packs, Plunder, and Revenge packs are currently on blowout sale, um, is because they would drop on average 20-30 Grand Chance Cubes of Hypercrate, but they were um, uh, these things sold like wildfire. I used to sell these Grand Chance Cubes at 299,000 credits each, and they would sell in a matter of minutes. I mean, I would put up maybe 50 items for sale, and then in the next 15 minutes, they will have all sold. So you guys can see, this, these things sell like wildfire. I'm putting these ones up at a significantly higher price. Um, I wouldn't go that low anymore because these things sell at, like wildfire at around 330,000 credits each. And as you guys can see, as I keep putting them up, they just keep getting sold. Someone keeps buying them. And um, I've sold these things for higher. I've sold these things for 350,000 credits. I've gone as high as 450,000 credits for one Grand Chance Cube. But obviously, the higher you go, the less quickly they sell. And since I was dealing with the thousands of these things, I did want to end up, I did put them up at competitive prices just for the sake of getting them sold at a higher rate. Uh, you might be wondering, how did I rack up so many of these things? Well, it was not all from cartel packs. I mean, I do cart I do pack openings. I have those videos on my channel, and I never open the Grand Chance Cubes. I always store them in my cargo bay for selling them later. But uh, but actually, one of the ways I racked these things up, and I probably bought, I don't know, over one in anything in between 1,000 and 2,000. I don't remember the exact number. But I bought them off the GTN. Uh, people were selling these things back in the day for around 230,000 to 250,000 credits each. Those sales would go up. And if you were lucky enough to catch them, uh, which I was, I would, you know, you could you could make a huge amount of credits, and you can see that here. Like I'm flipping them for a huge profit. I bought them up at around 230k, and I'm selling them for like 330k minimum. So that's a 100k profit. And when you're selling thousands of these things, you guys can see that is a huge amount of of, of profit. And that's what I'm going ahead and doing, and making a you know a pretty penny along the way. And the other thing I wanted to quickly mention, and you guys might be wondering, is you know how could something be selling that quickly and that fast? You know, I only started this thing at 148 messages, um, but this has been going on since it was at 90. So someone's been out there buying these things every second, and I've been sitting here kind of looking at it. And then I finally, uh, you know, it occurred to me I should press the record button and maybe make a quick video on it because I've never seen anything like this where you know you get successful item sales that quickly. And um, and one of the reasons that happens, and one of the reasons these Grand Chance Cubes and Companion Gifts together are such an awesome item to sell in the GTN is because you usually only need one or two buyers. You don't need many people to buy them. So if you want to sell like thousands of Companion Gifts or thousands of Grand Chance Cubes, uh, you only need about, I don't know, like one or two people to buy up a ton of them, a, a group of them. Uh, because what ends up happening is, you know, when someone buying Grand Chance Cubes off the GTN, they don't just buy one or two. Usually they're buying, you know, 10, 20, 30 of them. And um, and so, you know, and same with companion gifts. Usually if someone doesn't buy one companion gift, they'll usually buy them in the hundreds. And so you don't need many customers to sell, you know, groups of these things. You usually need one or two and you could sell hundreds of them. Potentially, it depends, you know, on which server you're on and stuff. The Harbinger is just such a highly populated server. There's no shortage of people that want to gamble with these things or no shortage of people that need companion gifts to level up all their companions that they're getting with Knights of the Fallen Empire. And so that's just what's been going on in this video. Anyways, I'll keep this video rather short. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I just thought it was a really cool thing, all these successful item sales going, and I wanted to make a quick video on it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and definitely stay tuned for what's going to happen with these credits and all the items I've stored up in my cargo bay because I'm planning something really, really huge. It is going to involve some really big giveaways. So, uh, you know, stay tuned for that. That's going to happen after Knights of the Eternal Throne. I will see you in the next one.